Alright, we got the uh, US General 30 inch one drawer black tool cart. Uh, 4,847 cubic inches of storage. Wow. 355 pound total weight capacity. And as I try to find it here, there is the item number. It's 64002. There's the little bit about this. All right, start right here. Heavy duty carbon steel construction. High gloss cutter coated finish. Rust resistance, fasteners. All bearing slides on the drawers. Lockable drawer with keys, two swivel casters, lid opens 90 degrees. And there's your overall dimensions. And we've already uh, got this together. After what would what, what it take you four hours? Sure. <laughs> uh, learned many things during the uh, assembly of this. Always read the instructions first because you'll have to take it back apart 16, 17, 18 times somewhere in that area. I think that's the what it took. You put it on wrong, dude. Uh, yeah, he put it together wrong. I put it together wrong. And then we just decided to uh, make our own uh, bolt holes with the old cobalt drill. So. Yeah, this is the one drawer US General. And it does have the the ball bearing sliders in the drawer. The drawer feels really really sturdy. Looks like it would hold a lot of weight. Here, sit down in this. What you I ain't sitting down here. Um yeah, it's it's pretty smooth. A little rough. Couldn't wouldn't hurt to have a little grease put on it, but for harbor freight it's it's pretty decent. It feels good. I guess, I don't know. Um, got the two gas shocks. And there's a lot of loose play in that. Just tighten it up. It's, it's in the joint itself. Uh, I would definitely throw some grease on that before I went to using it a whole lot. See if the other side's the same way. Oh, the lighting's horrible. This side's not as bad. Well, I see why. Because this bracket is bent. Right here. Oh, it came bent from the factory. Way to go. Harbor yeah. Freight. Harbor Freight for the win. Um, another thing I see is where this tightens up in this. They are loose on both ends. So we're probably going to have to take them out and tighten all of this up they came from the factory already on the box so if you get one look forward to doing that the first thing taking this apart you actually don't have to take them all the way off i don't believe it yep you're gonna have to but yeah them come from the factory loose the nut was tight it's just that uh that joint right there the ball joint that's loose that one's actually about to come off um, it does have the uh, barrel style lock and key, screwdriver, holders, and that is on each side. It has the automatic toolbox, the drawer lock, when you close the lid. Yeah, that worked great. You gotta make sure that drawer popped all the way in. And shut that down, and then you can't open your, your drawer. Once you raise it up, you're good to go. Uh, has this nice little handle on the side to pull it around. Five, uh, five by one and a quarter inch uh, hard rubber ca casters. It does have uh, two locks and we put them on one side. You have a storage drawer here and then you got a bottom storage drawer here. Yeah, this is it's actually a pretty nice little box and if you and you have uh, screwdriver holders here as well if your your other ones don't reach all the way down you can store more stuff there um, yeah it rolls very smooth this one has a little bit of a, a lopsided wheel there it's not very stand up ish so maybe we get it on different surface it might straighten up a little bit um, from the factory it is already 
scratched. Can't see nothing. Let's see it there. Uh, their paint was really heavy right here. It's actually the paint is still. I don't know. This is a powder coat, not paint, but it's wet filling underneath the top layer. Um, as far as the rest of the paint, it seems to be pretty good. A few scratches here and there. Uh, and then back here, here's a little sticker that tells you some things. It just tells you your warnings. Yeah, don't sit in this or stand, okay? No climbing. Uh, yeah. Assembly was pretty easy. If you read the uh, instructions, that is. Neither of us did. Uh, probably, what do you say? Over 50 bolts. Bolt, it probably, yeah. Cause... No. But it did come with this, uh, this there's, foam. There's 16 just in the top. Okay, 16 bolts just in the top. It came with this foam for your drawers, and it came uh, with for all of them, even your little trays there. Uh, for Harbor Freight, I uh, I would recommend it. It seems like a pretty good box. The uh, the shocks are very good if they were, you know, once once they get them tightened up. But yeah, they they seem pretty stout. I would recommend it for a for a Harbor Freight box. Yeah, we'll check it out. Uh, put on a Harbor Freight and get one. It's worth the money, I believe. What was that? Right at a hundred and fifty dollars with a warranty. One year. So not that expensive. If you don't get the warranty, probably. 119, 120, something like that. Uh, 129. 129. Okay. And as far as the emblem goes on this one, they just glued it straight on. It does not have tabs in the back. I like that. Because mine, the uh, the logo keeps popping off because it was just snapped in. But that's the uh, 30 inch. One drawer tool cart from Harbor Freight, U.S. Dental. Go check them out. And thank you guys for watching my videos. Like my videos and subscribe if you want to. You probably don't want to. Uh, have a good day.